Hi, this is Patrick here. Several days ago, David Jones introduced the Tencent Respawn MCU CX32 V03 on YouTube and tested the Blink demo, which is so easy to start your project. We can see this video here on YouTube. Wow, that's amazing. In just a few days, the, the viewing volume of this video has reached 200,000. It proves that Tencent Respawn MCU is very popular with engineers. And on some social medias, many, many electronic engineers asked me about the detail of one wire debug protocol for Respawn MCU. And how did WCH make the 32 bit Respawn MCU for Tencent? Now I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to answer the, the, the first question. The, how did how did WCH make the the thirty two bit this time CH thirty two V O three for ten cents? You know, WCH is a chip design company. Uh, the they they design they self design the this five IP and USB five IP and Ethernet five IP and some other some other uh, IPs. So they don't need to pay for the IPs and the pay for the, 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 the third party royalties. This is the main reason. Okay. So the next time I'm going to uh, talk about the, the, the first question, the one wire debug protocol. Uh, firstly, after my effort, the world's first RISC V1 wire debugging protocol has been sorted out now. And the key point is that I will announce that it will be released on GitHub. On this here, on OpenWCH, you can download it here. And when you can watch this video, you can download them now. And the download address is can will also be checked out under this video comments. And uh, sec, here are some design tips for you if you are going to design your own uh, links for CH32 V03. For schematic section. Since the CH32 V03 debugging I.O. is open drain, so your link debug port I.O. needs to be pulled up. Regarding the selection of the pull up red resistor value, I recommend 10,000 ohms. Uh, try, I'm trying to explain it clearly, so I will write down on this on here. Okay, I make sure it work. It works. Okay. For schematic, this side is V O O three. This part is P D one, and this is your link. This is the I.O. If you connect the, your I.O. to the one wire PD1, you need to play, you need to pull up this I.O. And this, this resist, it will, is recommended 10,000 ohms. And for software section, we are going to this protocol detail.
you know, this is one wire protocol, protocol. So you need, you only have one line. And if you want to try to speed up the transmission, transmission speed, you need to choose. We need to, we need to, um, to try to choose different mode. And okay, uh, this Chink V2 microprocessor debug menu is a 32 general purpose MCU microprocessor based on the standard five instruction set RV32i subset RV32e with only 16 general purpose registers. Yeah. We are going to chapter one. This is the block diagram of the debug system. Yeah, then the debug transmission device is, is a link which use, we will use USB communication with the debug host and uh, communicates with the debug mode through the single wire interface to control and carry the microprocessor status and uh, registers. The chapter two is going to explain the debug transport protocol. This is the packed format. Yeah, we want yeah, we, we want to speed up the the transmission. Uh, it, the one wire only because of the one one wire. So we divide we the 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 packed format is divided to packed types. One is new packed, and the other is bypass pack. New packet. Is going to send the address, and the bypass packet is used to send the data. This is bit definition. It contains two two mode, the fast mode and the normal mode. The double set link, this one. Double set link. It choose the normal mode, and the 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 date the date code code method. I will be explaining clearly here. Stop it. Yeah, sixteen T will be. Is standing for for stop it. Low level time, different level, different low level time, different high level time, stands for for zero one or zero zero. For dub set link e. It choose. The, 8t low level time 2t high level time stands for zero choose 2t low level time choose 2t high level time stands for e for one t equals 125 nanosecond Yeah, for for protocol section, uh, if you want to, if you the link needs to receive the data of VO three, the I O of the link should be tied low for the data from O V O three. Link I O. If you want to receive the data, you need to tie low the I O for the data for the data. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, let me actually, actually, uh, mail the logical logical signal of one wire protocol. First, uh, we you we need this double session link. 
and the the dev board of VO3. This is the logic analyzer. First, firstly, you need to plug the link into the USB hub and plug in the USB port of the logic analyzer into the USB hub too. Okay. Open the BS View app. Choose the right sets. And and select select the one select the one EVT. Yeah, this is we choose the GPIO toggle toggle and uh, double click the okay to download. Okay, there's no error and warnings and operation finished. Let's go back to the test view. This signal stands for it stands for one two two hundred and fifteen nanoseconds. And this signal stands for zero. Okay, if you happen to have the WSH link and the dead board of VO3, can you find out where is the stop bit and where is the receive receive bit in in this signal in in this signal? I'm going to end the video now. If you have any question, you can leave leave messages in the comments or and or send me the email. If you want to uh, ask Patrick to to do something for you, you also can leave the message in the comments. I will reply you immediately. And if you want to uh, buy um, buy large volume chips of WCH. You can come to me directly, and we will, and you will get, you will get bad, bad price and bad service. Okay, that's it. Bye.